Today I'm going to unveil the best Shieldred deck in Modern. This new legendary Phyrexian Praetor is a powerful magic card on the front side, but the back side of the card is where all the magic happens. To flip, you need to accomplish the daunting stipulation of 8 or more cards in your opponent's graveyard. But once achieved, Shieldred Saga is lights out. Especially Chapter 3. And might as well just say, you win the game. So today, we're going to maximize Shieldred by reviving a fan favorite, but before we get to that, do me a solid and smash that subscribe button. Now, allow me to introduce you to the new and improved Modern Loam Pox. Smallpox, the namesake of the deck, has a symmetrical effect, but in our deck, it produces a very asymmetrical outcome. Flagstones of Trokir allows us to search out another land when it's sacrificed to Smallpox, and that's just the start. This list is stacked with cards that have value when discarded, such as Life in the Loam, Timeless Dragon, and Raven's Crime. Dredging loam turn after turn puts more utility cards into your graveyard, which puts you further ahead in the resources battle. And if we mill our haymaker, Shieldred, Takanuma can buy it back to close out this show. This brew is well positioned in the modern metagame. Don't believe me? Well, let me show you. I've been building and testing this deck for the last couple of days. I am excited to jump into this league. Let's get to it. Opponent lays an island, passes. We're going to start inflicting some pain. Godless Shrine, Raven's Crime. Discard a Lightning Bolt, pass the turn. Spire Bluff, this is looking like Mark Tide. This will be a good test for us to see if we can hang with the top tier of Modern. Bobble, look at my top card. Back to us. Draws a Flagstones, cast our Castle. Kill the Shredder. Another Raven's Crime. Unholy Heat to the Graveyard. Pony on taps, passes back. Lead with our Marsh Flats. Raven's Crime, discarding a Plains. Raven's Crime, discarding a Flagstone. Consider in response. Discard a counterspell. Back to you. They fetch. Untap. Iteration. Scalding Tarn. Ragavan. Land for turn. Pass back to us. We'll fetch and get our Triome. Verdant Catacombs. Pretty good draw. We're going to lead on alone. Raven's Crime then. We'll fetch Shock. Get rid of this Ragavan. They fetch. Back to them. They got nothing. We're going to loam. We'll Raven's Crime then. Discard a counterspell. Loan back our flagstones, basic swamp, marsh flats. Play out our marsh flats. Pass back. Upkeep, we're gonna fetch. Get a basic swamp. We're gonna draw for turn. We're gonna hold on to the smallpox. Play out a swamp. The Raven's Crime. Back to them. They're casting out a Mark Tide here. This is exactly why we kept this smallpox. We're gonna draw a card. We're gonna bring the loan back. Draw our grist. I'm gonna start with the loan. Clearing, flagstones. Catacombs, lay out the flagstones, cast smallpox, trigger the flagstones. We actually don't have anything to search left, but that's okay. We'll pass back. Opponent plays a dragon's rage. Back to us. We're not going to draw. We're going to draw off our silent clearing. We'll bring back our timeless dragon and pass the turn. Opponent scoops. We're up again. We're going to board out these six. We're going to bring in these six. Opening seven solid. We'll keep it. Opponent cast tarn, bobble. Looks at their top card. Fetch our turn. Draw our second ending, and play our tap land. Pass back. Spire Bluff, Dragon's Rage, back to us. Play out our Marsh Flats. We're gonna fetch basic planes here, and we're gonna Thoughtseize. We'll take the counter spell. Pass back. Spire Bluff, into a Shredder. We have perfect information. We're gonna get our Hearse down. We'll eat counter spell and bobble. Pass back to them. Iteration, as expected. I reveal a bobble. Cast a Dragon's Rage. Connive away the Unholy Heat. Swing for two. Bobble. Surveil away an Ottawara. Look at our top card. We're going to fetch that away. We're going to get ourselves a basic here. They're up to four cards in hand. We're going to Thirst the Shredder to start with. Go down to 12. We're going to cast out a Grist. Plus the Grist. Pass back to them. The Unholy Heat targeting Grist. In a Tarn. We're going to eat Iteration and Shredder. Opponent plays their Island into a Murktide. Drew an Inquisition, pretty good draw. So here we're gonna plus Grist to start. I'm gonna Inquisition them just to make sure that they don't have any interaction, and then I'll play out my other Grist and minus. Appears they had nothing, so I didn't really need to take that line, but I was just being safe there. Back to you. One and oh. Match two, we're on the play. Let's get after it, I like it. Lead Marsh Flats and pass. Opponent Mesa, fetch, shock, and a Soul Scar Mage. We're gonna fetch and get our Overgrown Tomb. Back to us. Drew an overgrown tomb. We're gonna play out our Urberg. Pass back to them. 
Opponent plays a Tarn. Trying to fetch. We're going to Shadow Doubt that. Nice little tempo play. Drew into a Thirst. Really good draw. Play out a Swift Spear. Hit us for two. Interesting choice here. I'm going to actually Vindicate their land here. Pass back. Opponent attacks for two. No land drop. We're looking good. Play out the Marsh Flats. Dump down the Soul Scar Mage. Cast Liliana. We'll minus the Liliana. They have no board. Let's go. Opponent passes back. Draw an Inquisition. We're going to start with plussing the Liliana. Discard the Overgrown Tomb. We're going to play out our Grist. Plus the Grist. Cast Inquisition. And our opponent scoops. Game two. On the draw, we're going to bring in these seven. We're going to cut these seven. Fortunately, we don't have Black Source. Can't keep this. Can't keep this one either. All right, we'll keep this five. We're going to send back Crime Punishment and Life from the Loam. Fiery Islet. Swift Spear. Swing for one. Drew an Overgrown Tomb. We're going to lead on an Inquisition. We're going to take their other Swift Spear. Pass back. Opponent plays Aaron Mesa. Fetch. Shock. They're going to Lava Dars before damage. Puts down 16. Drew into a Triome. We're going to play out our Marsh Flats. Cast our Small Pox. We're going to discard our Overgrown Tomb. Sacrifice our Marsh Flats. Opponents go. Another Swift Spear. Back to us. Drew our Crime Punishment. Play out the Triome. Pass back to them. Opponent attacks for one. We'll push it. Back to us. Another land. Pass back. Opponent passes back to us. Four lands. We're going to fetch EOT. Get a Shrine. Another land. We'll pass back. We'll fetch EOT. Get a Basic Plains. Cast an Inquisition. The Invasive Surgery are Inquisition. I'm actually happy they took all four. Don't want them. Back to you. Opponent pulls their second land. Fetch. Land tapped. Drew into a smallpox. I think we're going to hold that. Eh, actually, we'll cast it. Another invasive surgery. Opponent casts an iteration. Metamorphose and exile. They fetch shock. Pass back. Cast a raven's crime. They discard a lightning bolt. Another iteration. I knew they had this. Play out a swift spear. And they hit for one. Back to us. Another raven's crime. Discard a spell pierce. Bring in a punishment for one. Back to them. Hit a land. Shock. Breach enters the battlefield. Yikes. It's at this precise moment that I realized that I probably should have constructed my sideboard a little bit differently and need a little bit better graveyard hate than what I've got going. Exile one of the Swiss Spears, pass back. Good chance we're dead here. Iteration, bolt. Okay, we'll scoop. Game three. On the play, we're gonna bring back in two Shadow Doubts. We're gonna cut two Crime Punishment. I like this seven, we'll keep it. We're gonna shock Inquisition. We're going to take one of the channelers here. Opponent plays their Tarn. Fetch. Shock. And nothing. Strange. Play at our castle past the turn. Basic Mountain. Channeler. Sure. Bobble. Sure. Look at my top card. We're going to cycle this plant, uh, Timeless Dragon. And we'll get a Godless Shrine. Drew a Liliana. We'll shock. They're representing a Spell Pierce or an Invasive Surgery here. Start with the Raven's Crime. They discard an Arid Mesa. We're going to kill the Channeler, or attempt to. Invasive Surgery, exile it from the game. Upkeep, they dart me, I'm trying to fix their draw steps here. Keep a card on top. They attack for three, land untapped, Soul Scar me. Play out our Flagstones, we're going to internalize our Timeless Dragon. Casting out their Breach. Ugh, oh, this card is so busted, I am in trouble. They bobble one, two, three, four, and five times. Pretty good turn for them. Breach goes away. They're gonna draw five cards. Smallpox, not what we are looking for. Or maybe it is. We're gonna discard the Shadow Doubt. Sacrifice our, our Flagstones, trigger our Flagstones, get our Triome, pass back. Opponent has a land. They fetch, shock, Swift Spear, Bobble. Look at our top card, put us down to three. Crime Punishment is our out here, but for whatever reason, I decided to sideboard it out. So we're dead. We lose, one one Match three, we're getting back on the horse. Our man is weird, but we're gonna keep this. We're gonna shock, lead off with an Inquisition. Appears our opponent is on hammer time. We're gonna take Sigarda's aid here. Opponent plays out of planes into a Giver of Runes. Drew a second Grist. We'll Inquisition again. We're gonna get rid of the Sentinel. Play out our planes, pass back. Play out a Saga. 
to a shadow spear. They swing for one. Now would be a good time to draw a black source. And we got there. We're gonna fetch shock, cast our smallpox. We're gonna discard a grist. We're gonna sacrifice planes. Back to them. Opponent plays out an ink moth. Draw our flagstones. Play out our grist. Plus and pass back. Opponent with a silent clearing. Animate the ink moth. Attack grist for one. Into a giver. We're gonna prismatic ending the giver. Plus the grist. Swing for one. Opponent passes the turn back. We're gonna plus the grist. Swing for two. Opponent casts a cigar as aid. We're gonna cycle this shadow of doubt. Drew into a smallpox, not bad. We're gonna start with an attack. Swing for three. We're gonna plus the grist. Cast the smallpox. Discard a flagstones. Sacrifice an insect. Sacrifice our own flagstones. Trigger. Get our godless shrine. Back to them. My opponent's resources were so depleted at this point that they really struggled to put together any semblance of a board state for the remainder of the game. We just kept plusing Grist, killing their creatures with Grist, and we just ran them over. We're up one. We're gonna bring in these seven. We're gonna cut these seven. This would be a very intriguing hand if we had a land. This is much more intriguing. Get rid of Indicate. Opponent leads on a planes, passes the turn. Turn to our Shieldred. Play our Swamp, pass back. Opponent plays a land into a giver, representing a surge right now. Play out our castle into a smallpox. We're gonna discard our shieldred. We'll dump our swamp. Come on, man. Opponent casts an Urza Saga to a shadow spear. Back to us. Play out our planes. I am gonna Inquisition now. I think they have a surge, but I'm gonna make them use it. There it is. Back to them. Have their third land. Prismatic ending, not bad. I'm gonna let my opponent make a move from here. Make another construct. I'm gonna respond with a fatal push. Themselves a spring leaf drum. Back to us. And ending the drum. I'm just gonna pass it back. Cast an Esper Sentinel, sure. Swings for three. Drew into an Urborg, really good draw. I'm gonna thirst this Sentinel. Ending the construct. Setting up a smallpox for next turn. Opponent casts a Garda's Aid. Back to us. Flagstones, really good draw. We're gonna cast this smallpox now. I'm gonna sacrifice our flagstones. Get our trial. Opponent sacrifice their ink moth once again. Play another ink moth. A little scary. Over the next couple of turns, I play out my grist and I start plussing it, minusing it periodically to deal with their threats. They play out a multiple ink moth nexuses and start attacking in, which starts to become a little bit of a problem when the infect counters start adding up. Opponent animates both their ink moths. Moving to combat. Attack me for three. No blocks. Draw a card before damage. Opponent plays a land, passes back, draw a card, another land. Don't think we're winning this one. Let's go to game three. Game three, we're gonna submit the same 60. I like this Wookie. We we'll start with a fetch shock. Opponent's on six cards. Get our tomb, Inquisition. We'll get rid of the Esper Sentinel. Back to them. Opponent shocks themselves. Ginger Brute, Ornithopter, tag for one. We play out our Triome. We thirst down the Ginger Brute. Pass back. Opponent plays their Ink Moth, passes back to us. Play out our Flagstones. Play out Liliana. We'll plus Liliana. Discard alone. Opponent discards a Hammer. Opponent plays a Saga. Back to us. We'll just draw a card. Drew a Raven's Crime. Play out our land. We'll shock. Raven's Crime them. Card of Planes. We cast Vindicate. I'm gonna target the Saga here. Plus the Liliana. Pass back. Opponent activates their Nexus. Swings at me for one. We're gonna bring back the loam this turn. Bring back three lands. Play out our Verdant Catacombs. Plus Liliana. Discard the Urborg. Back to them. Opponent activates their Ink Moth. Attack at Liliana. Another Ornithopter. Fetch. Put a Godless Shrine into play tapped. We're gonna dredge this loam. These three into our hand. We'll just put the castle into our hand. Play out our land. Oh, I meant to play the other land. Uh, this has to wait another turn then. Discard a card. That was dumb. Misclick. Opponent activates their Nexus. Attacks of Liliana. We'll bring back the Loam. All right, we got a Timeless Dragon. We're gonna dredge, bring Takanuma, Castle, and Verdant Catacombs back to hand. We're gonna play out the Castle. Bring back our Timeless Dragon. Plus Liliana. Discard the Burden. I think we're pretty close to having this locked up at this point. Pound Scoops. Match four, opening seven looks great. We'll keep this. Lead off on that Triome, pass the turn. Let's see what we're up against. Steam Vents, nothing else, okay. Play out our basic swamp. 
Pass the turn back. Peers are playing against Living End. Opponent plays a Botanical Sanctum, passes back, cycles a Riverwinder, goes another Riverwinder. We're going to cycle our Shadow of Doubt, end of turn. It's actually a pretty good draw. Play out our Flagstones, and we're going to Vindicate the opponent cycles a Street Wraith, pass back. Cycle a Curator, they fetch. Shock, another Riverwind. It's a lot of creatures in their graveyard. We're going to play out our Marsh Flats. I'm going to fetch a Basic right now, and we're going to Loam. Let's see if they got it. Ouch. This is going to be game up. We're going to scoop it up. We have a ton of cards to bring in this matchup. We're cutting these, bringing in these. Lead on a flagstone, it's past the turn. Opponent plays out of grief, a little unfortunate. Spall pox down. Cycle of Riverwinder. Back to us. Onto a second Vindicate. We play out our Overgrown Tomb, pass back. Cycle of Street Wraith. Second Steam Vents. Waker. Back to us. Living End in the graveyard. Drew into a Shieldred. Gonna fetch it to our, our Marsh Flats here. We get our basic planes. We're gonna vindicate a land. Back to them. They cycle. Another land. Back to us. Vindicate again. Cast an Urborg. Pass turn back. On its shocks. Cycles. Brazen Borrower into the graveyard. Back to us. More land. Not what you're looking for. Basically need to hope they miss their land drop here. We're gonna play out the hearse. We're gonna tomb. We're gonna eat some creatures now. We eat a grief and a waker. Opponent cycles a Street Wraith in response. Playing against this matchup made me acutely aware of how vulnerable this strategy was to graveyard decks. If I were to do this again, I would definitely have the Black Spell Bomb in my sideboard. I think that's probably the strongest card for this strategy. We're dead. We're scooping it up. Two and two. Match five. Hand is great. Opponent leads on a Tarn. Passes the turn. Lead on a Swamp. Inquisition them. This looks like some sort of creativity variant. Take the only card we can take. Opponent fetches, gets a Xander's Lounge, back to them. Stomping Ground, untapped, drew a Renin Six, brought a land back. Play at our Godless Shrine, we'll pay the life, we're gonna ending the Renin Six. Back to them, Herod Mesa, back to us. Drew a Raven's Crime, which is solid. We're gonna lead our Overgrown Tomb tapped this turn, pass back to them, respond to this fetch, cast the Shadow of Doubt, drew a Grist, not terrible. Opponent has five cards in hand. Fetch, basic planes, back to us. We play out our Urborg, cast a Grist, plus the Grist, loam into the graveyard. Really good. I'm gonna cast a Binding, getting rid of our Grist, to be expected. Scalding Tarn, back to us. We're gonna dredge along, cast a land, I'm gonna fetch, get a basic planes, I'm gonna loam two, la two lands back to hand, and cast a Raven's Crime, and discard an Archon, Raven's Crime again. Cast a big score, two treasures, discard a land, Raven's Crime again, discard a ley line. Swing for one. Back to them. Fable, sure. Herod Mesa, back to us. We're gonna dredge this loam. Bring three back to hand. Bring Catacombs Fetch. Overgrown Tomb, Shock. Bring this Fable. Get rid of their card selection a little. Fetch a Blood Crypt, fetch a Mine. Back to them. Swing for three, we're gonna block the Dwarf. Play a land, back to us. We're gonna dredge along. Bring two lands back to hand. Asta Castle. Grist into play. Plus the Grist. Back to them. Attack the Goblin, we'll block. This feels like a hard cast Archon. It is. It's not great for us. We're just gonna draw a card. And that's not gonna do it. We'll scoop. We're gonna board in these six. We're gonna pull these six. Let's get this one back. Game two. I think we can run with this. We'll keep it with that overgrown tomb. Pass back. Opponent plays Skull and Tarn. Passes back to us. Draw to a Grist, play our Attack Numa. We're not gonna small pox here, we're gonna get our Timeless Dragon to uh, get us a card before we do so. We get a Xander's Lounge off their fetch, back to them. Stomping Ground Shock, get their fetch back. Cycle our Dragon, get ourselves a Godless Shrine. Play out our Urborg, and we're gonna play out our Grist. Plus the Grist, back to them. The next few turns play out fairly uneventful. I just keep plussing my Gris. My opponent keeps plussing their Renin Six. I'm loaming lands back to my hand at the same time until we get to the critical turn of the game in which fetch into a Dwarven Mine. And Six pings down one of our insects. Rude. They fetch another Dwarven Mine. Creativity for two. We're going to have something to say about this. Hell and Moonlight. We'll dredge the loam back. It's going to be back to us. Turn to a second loam. We're going to start by minusing, knocking down this Renin Six. Then going to cast Smallpox. 
We'll discard a loan. We're actually going to sacrifice the Takanuma here. We sacrifice a Dwarven Mine. We cast out this Silent Clearing. We're going to sacrifice a draw card right here and now. We drew another small box, which is really interesting. I think we're going to hold on to that. We're going to Takanuma back three. Pass the turn back. Opponent scoops. Game three. All right, we're back for game three. This is a little bit of a sketchy keep, but I think we're going to keep it hoping to pull another land. Second Inquisition. We're going to lead on one of those. A little unfortunate there. Double Ren and six. We're going to take one of the Rens. We'll dump down the other one next. They fetch. Back to them. Ren six into play. Land into hand. Did not draw our second land. Blood Chiefs thirst the Ren six back to them. Sacred Foundry for them. Into a Fable. Good draw. Back to us. Drew a Triome. Play that out. Inquisition, take the creativity, back to them. When it discards a, an Archon, plays out a Bloodstained Mire, three cards in hand. Make a treasure, hit fetch, Dwarven Mine, back to us. To our third land, we're gonna lead by ending, we're gonna ending the Shaman token. This is likely gonna get countered. Yep, back to them, two cards in hand. When it attacks for three, play another land, two cards in hand. We're gonna cycle one of these Moonlights, drew into a Liliana. Drew an Inquisition. We're gonna vindicate the Shaman. Back to them. Attacks for four, we're down to six. Let's see, he's not very good. We're gonna vindicate the Reflection and the Veil of Summer. That might be game. Down to one, and that'll do it. Two and three. While our five matches with Lone Pox didn't result in the record we had hoped for, with some small modifications to the main deck and tweaking to the sideboard, I still believe this strategy could contend with the top tiers of Modern. And while we didn't get to flip our Shieldred, I still had a blast playing this deck. Thank you all for tuning in. I will see you again soon. Until then, be well. <laughs>